Today, we have an amazing individual. Her name is Ivy Gray, and she is the founder of American Legal Style for Perfected, an amazing software that is already revolutionizing the legal industry. Ivy, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me, Joe. You built a program that helps people be people and stop with the whole nitty gritty of the details of the day to day details that, you know, did I get it right? Did I not get it right? So essentially, what your software does, it's like a little red squiggly in Word, but for a law, right? Is that kind of how people so, describe it? So, yes, it builds on uh, the grammar and spell checker that exists in Word and adds to it so it checks internal consistency so if you have terms of art uh, that you've used and maybe hyphenated some of them but not hyphenated others uh, a court of law might read that as meaning two different things and so the program will find those things for you find those inconsistencies for you draw your attention to them show you all of the all of the places that they are and guide you to fix them without introducing new errors Wow. Uh, it will also help you with your defined terms. So if you have the business and you're creating a, you're say creating a merger between the business and the target, or you are drafting a very important brief and you have the business as your plaintiff, it is really important that the business only means one thing. And you do that by creating a defined term. And defined terms are capitalized. If you occasionally use the business without capitalizing it, then who knows what business you're talking about. And when you're reading a document that's 20 pages long or 100 pages long, it's hard to remember to look for those sorts of things. You get tired. Perfect it helps you find those things and fix them. Of course, you still have to do the proofreading, but this guides you through it so that you can do it on your own, do it better, and do it faster. Wow, so do it on your own, do it better, and do it faster. And that's what technology is here to do. Technology is here to make our lives easier right. so that we can do the things that people do, shake hands, have fun, have some drinks, and help our clients succeed. Exactly. You know, I find that a lot of legal tech out there tries to change the way that you do things. And it feels like lawyers are working in service of their technology. But our entire approach to perfect it with American legal style is that technology works in service of lawyers. Wow, technology that works in service of lawyers. So if a lawyer is looking to be able to save time, save effort, save energy, be able to bill their clients for doing smarter work as opposed to billing their clients for doing data entry type things right. so they can strategize and actually help their clients change their business instead of them sitting there and proofreading a document for forever, which they don't even enjoy doing and their right. clients shouldn't be paying for that. Right. Now they're able to focus their time on saying, is the content better as opposed to is the grammar better, the legal grammar, the, li the lingo and so on. Right. And you mentioned that the program does something else, that it finds specific terms that are supposed to be used in a specific way. Right. Um, in general, and you have like a whole database of legal words that you have access to. Can you speak a little yes. bit about that? So we went page by page through Black's Law Dictionary. Wow. Uh, which was quite a feat. Huge. It's, a, it's a big stack. It is a stack. Uh, yeah. As well as the Blue Book and uh, the Red Book by Brian Garner and all of the major legal writing guides. And we programmed in the terms of art and the rules that are most difficult to remember and hardest to spot. And of course, we skipped over some of the things where there's a valid stylistic uh, argument preference. or preference uh, where you might want to just be consistent within your document, but might not want to be forced into some sort of rule or decision that the powers that be says you should do. So we went through each of those uh, upon launch. We had 8,000 corrections. Wow. And uh, now we've added 5,000 more, so we are up to 13,000 corrections that run within the program, uh, operates seamlessly in Microsoft Word, and it will find those things for you. So misplaced periods, uh, hyphenation, uh, transposed words in common terms of art, or transposed letters in common terms of art, we'll find those things and fix them for you. Amazing. So think about this. If you're an attorney right now, there are 13 thousand things that you can look for in your document to know if you're doing it right. Or you can use a very inexpensive, very efficient, very robust plugin, piece of software 
for the programs you're already using right now every single day that will change your life. So why not do that? Why not take yourself and be able to invest in yourself, in your firm, in your clients, in yourself, and check out this program? How can people find out more information about this program? You can go to intelligentediting.com and look for American Legal Style. And it's only $99. Wow. It's only $99. Intelligentediting.com. Go check it out and you will not regret it. Ivy Gray, thank you so much for joining us here today. It's been an awesome pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure to speak with you. Amazing.